The theme today is Daring to Dream, so I've been talking about is the NHS a dream or a nightmare? And of course it began as a dream for a while, we all lived the dream, and now it's a complete nightmare. There's no simple way of fixing the NHS. First thing we've got to acknowledge is it can't last. It was designed for circumstances which were prevailing uh, in the middle of the last century. It wasn't designed for today's circumstances. Bevan couldn't have foreseen the explosion of medical and surgical science, which would send demand soaring towards infinity. He honestly thought demand would decline because we had an NHS, we'd all get healthier, which we have, and therefore he thought we would put less demand on it, uh, which now looks wonderfully naive. But at the time, it was not stupid because he could only go on what he knew at the time, not foresee the future. Now, what we're suffering from at the moment is political cowardice, because everybody knows that if you suggest you're going to start dismantling the NHS in any way, um, even if it's to put something vastly much better in its place, that's political suicide. That's electoral suicide. That means the next election's gone. So politicians won't do it. And what we've got at the moment is a situation in which it can't last. It's going to implode. Um, I've heard consultants you know, mention implosion within the next decade. It's going to implode, and what the parties are doing is hoping that when it does implode, it'll be the other party that's in power. And there's no simple solution to any of it. It was set up on false premises. We've got to admit it won't last, have a big national debate, interdisciplinary, cross-party, without prejudice to the outcome, a big national debate on what we could do. Then from what we could do, we've got to decide what we should do, and then from what we should do, we've got to decide the crucial thing, which is how on earth we get there from here. And I called for that process 20 years ago, and if we had started then, we'd be a lot further forward now.